so really we were we were just totally devastated and our first thought was that that would be the end of it we'd have to have a termination we wouldn't be able to uh, to carry on with the pregnancy um, Alex was born uh, due to a normal delivery she was a normal weight and she was to all intents and purposes normal um, she fed well and put on weight for the first two or three weeks of life and then she started to have problems feeding I was breastfeeding at the time and I knew that there was something wrong. I suppose initially or your first reaction is why? Why us? Why my daughter? Um, that you know I think that's a reaction that uh, most people would have um, you know wh why did it happen to us you know um, and then I, th I think you have to get over that feelings um, and we went through many things um, it was just it, I think it was shock I think we were in so much shock to start with um, and we couldn't stop crying none of us could stop crying um, and I think we were trying to put on a brave face for the children um, my husband and I and trying not to show them too much but it was just such an emotional time, you know, and it was it was just so hard to do that. It is a very frightening thing, this, on the outside. It is it is definitely very frightening. I don't suppose there would be a parent who would not be um, overwhelmed by, by the magnitude of all these things. It is very frightening, but technology is advanced. Technology is quite far advanced. You know, I, I've got a really good life now. I love my life and I live my life to the full and so do my children. And part of that is having to go to the hospital and having to go and see professionals and, and having to do all the things that we have to do with Joe. So it hasn't really hindered my life that much.